making cowboy bread. We always use cast iron. Um, try, never use a Teflon coated pan. Um, yeah, for frying or, or when you're gonna do cowboy bread because that when you gotta have it at that high heat for a certain amount of time, then that Teflon, it starts burning and actually um, releases poisonous gases, really. I don't know why they started using it for cooking, but yeah, don't ever use that kind. You're gonna want eight cups of flour from this. Good girl, she learned how. All right. She knows how, awesome. Okay, and then um, the next ingredient is going to be your, um, you should have some dry milk there. And I do believe it's going to be one fourth cup of dry milk. Okay, after your fourth cup of um, dry milk, an eighth of a cup of sugar. So you use that one fourth cup and half of that is going to be the delecta here is what we're using as the sugar. That's gonna also take down the um, content there, the fat and sugar content. And that's good to use. I use that a lot. Um, I even used it in cinnamon rolls and everybody liked it. So about half of your, the one fourth cup, yeah, about half of that. And it works just like regular sugar, the measuring part of it. Three teaspoons of salt and three teaspoons of the yeast. Three teaspoons of salt and three teaspoons of yeast. One thing we always do, just as native women is, we always think good thoughts when we're cooking. Um, I always say a prayer all the time when I'm getting ready to cook. Say, let this be good enough, let it taste good enough, let it... <laughs> yes, let there be enough, exactly. It's always let there be enough. All right, if you got all of your dry ingredients in there, then just put your hands in it and mix it around well so everything is mixed in together really good. Just mix your hands around in it. Yeah, and just get it going good. Just keep chugging along there, girly. You got it. Okay, you, you need to take maybe your fourth cup and then dip a little of your dry out. Just a little of your dry out. Now you need three cups of warm water. Three cups of warm water. Yeah, just take a little bit out, sis, and set it aside. Three cups of warm water and pour it in the middle of your well. Can we make, we make a well? Yeah, you make a well in the middle. And then you gotta get your, you gotta get your um, oil. And it is one-fourth of a cup of canola oil. Use your, use your wet measurement. Use your wet measurements for one, yeah. Hopefully one-fourth of a cup. This part is the kind of tricky part because this is where you, you, you know, this is where you really have to learn how to feel your dough and know your dough. It took me years to get fry bread down, years. You know, I'd done it and done it and done it and it would still come out just rotten. So very lightly is what I do is I pull in from the sides and I just kind of start incorporating it so you don't get big lumps. You just want small. Shardy did hers, yeah, okay. You do it from the outside? Yeah, I just pull it in from the outside and then from the bottom and just do it until it has a nice sticky ball formed up. This is just a very small batch, you know. At my house, I have to do usually a 10 pound batch. Like I was saying earlier, a five pound batch, when I do a five pound batch, that's what these dough babies came from, a five pound. That will get you, um, that will get you about 20 to 25, two ounce size buns or fry breads, just depending. You know, I found out that depending on the brand size of flour I use a lot of times. Okay, once you got your nice sticky dough, then go ahead and create um, a space on your table there with the, the reserved flour mixture. And then spread it out just a little bit and then go ahead and put your dough in there. 
and then start knead then you want to knead it okay put your hands in and then get all the ingredients nicely together yeah there you go just dig all the way to the bottom flip it around a little bit yeah I know it's hard to do without getting it all over Usually when I'm at home, I use a, a fork to mix the dry ingredients around and get it incorporated well. You really want them really mixed together well, Lola, because then you want the it all to come out evenly. Okay. See, and I always, you see some people digging their, um, bag of flour and put the flour down and then you know then they're adding and constantly adding more flour that changes the recipe that changes what you're trying to do so i always just use the flour from the bowl and that's it yeah i try not to use any more than that because it's you know cooking is a science precise science you know and, and to keep the the nutritional value, the way that we want it to be, where I try not to add anything or take anything out. Okay. Okay. And then um, just lightly spray your bowl with your canola oil. Put your bit dough baby in there. Turn it over so it's got a little grease on it. Yeah, you want to spray your bowl out a little bit with your canola oil so your dough don't stick to it. Enough? Yeah. Then you're going to take a little piece of plastic wrap and cover it up. So we're going to let it rest. Now, the, like I said, you've got to let it rise, rise, rise. I always let it rise an hour. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and uh, cover up your dough, babies. Um, you always want to put them somewhere where they're going to um, be warm. And then we're going to um, clean up the area. And this is really good to help clean up. I always like to make dough balls before I make cowboy bread or fry bread so that they're all the same size and shape. Um, I always use this palm of my hand because I got small hands. So um, that's usually about a two ounce to three ounce serving. A little bit bigger than that. You wanna gently pinch off a piece like when you do it. You kind of pull on the edge of it. You pull on the edge of your dough like so, and then you just kind of pinch off like a palm-sized piece, okay? And like, and then just make it into, a, then ball. Just make it into a ball. I usually kind of rough it up into a little bit of flour so that it's not sticky. Then just kind of tuck it in like so, mm -hmm. like that. So if you want to do that, you can get a little flour, just put a little flour there. And that's just to keep it from being real super sticky. Okay, so I'm gonna start warming this pan out for the cowboy bread is gonna be on the end here. And this pan is gonna be your fry bread. And then I just slap it right on the skillet, which I sprayed with our canola oil. Okay, this, is this is cowboy bread on this side. Okay. And then this oil here is for the fry bread. And I don't know how long that is. We put on. Same thing with the fry bread. Denise, we need a, a pan with some paper toweling down on it for the fry bread. I mean, I'm just gonna test with a small piece of dough first. Not yet. We'll watch that. Might be another five minutes. Yeah, it's got a bubble. So and how can you tell when this when they're ready? It'll start raising. It'll start raising like a pancake. Oh, okay. And then you can kind of move it around. You know, if you touch it with your fingers, you can move it across the pan most of the time.